So this is his original scan here. This is the one from six months ago. Then if you go to today, it's not as not as dramatic as looking at the first MRI, but even over the past six months, it's gotten still smaller. I grew up in a very poor part of the country in the Appalachian Mountains of Eastern Kentucky in a coal mining community. And my father was the pastor of a church. And we grew up uh, doing stuff like taking, taking food to people up hollers and bringing children in for programs. And uh, I grew up with this sort of model of, of service. At the same time, from the time I was very young, I had this odd attraction for science. And so if I couldn't go to the moon, I wanted to be a doctor. And as time went on, uh, it became more and more apparent to me that helping people in this way was the best fit for me and the way I wanted to live my life. I'm Benjamin Worf, and I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon at Boston Children's Hospital. This is the spinal cord coming down here, and the tip of the spinal cord sort of ends down here at L3, which is just lower than it ought to be. Okay. Most of my practice is focused around young children, babies, with hydrocephalus and with spina bifida. I also do nearly all of the prenatal consults for neurosurgery as well. I do a lot of homework. So, and what I mean by that is when I see a patient in the clinic, I will have spent two or three times that amount of time studying their imaging studies, studying their records, sometimes reviewing the literature on a particular topic that's not so common. And I come prepared to see the child and talk to the family. And then when it comes to the operations, I spend a lot of time studying imaging studies, thinking through the operation. We're a teaching hospital, so I'm teaching people while I'm doing the surgery. So there's a lot of preparation, oftentimes after hours, that goes into patient care that people really never know about. His ventricles are a little smaller than they were, and he's got really good and obvious uh, flow going across the ETV. That's all great news, so yeah, I'm very yeah. happy. No, he looks, he looks wonderful. I do. And, and you do? Not to be too corny about it, but I kind of love my patients. Children with neurosurgical problems are oftentimes uh, disabled and have serious issues, sometimes life-threatening. And being a parent of a disabled child myself, there's something about that relationship of helping support the families that I find very rewarding.